Hey, everybody. It's Sam Jacobs. Welcome back to the Sales Hacker Podcast. You're listening to Friday Fundamentals. Happy Friday. I hope it's sunny. If it's anywhere on the East Coast, it's probably not sunny. It's probably raining. It's been raining almost every day in New York uh, through June, and it's been horrible. But anyway, that's not why we're here today. We're here today because we've got this week's guest, David Zwerin, head of field operations for Trip Actions, and he's going to talk about how to scale while making constant corrections and how to drive a team, a revenue team forward when you've got massive stretch targets but still pushing it to that red line and not being afraid to fail. Now, before we get into Friday Fundamentals, we want to thank our sponsor. Uh, that sponsor is Outreach. Outreach triples the productivity of sales teams and empowers them to drive predictable and measurable revenue growth by prioritizing the right activities and scaling customer engagement with intelligent automation Outreach makes customer-facing teams more effective and improves visibility into what really drives results. I'm sure some of you can say that with me uh, after having listened to this for a few months. Now, David, welcome back to the show. Welcome to Friday Fundamentals. We put the question to you, what are your tactics? What are your strategies? What are your, what are your ideas for how to scale a revenue organization with massive stretch targets while still having the comfort to make course corrections? Yeah, thanks, Sam, for having me. Yeah, that's a, it's a great question. I mean, for us, we've got three models that we're always taking into consideration. We've got our finance targets, we have our sales targets, and then we also have our marketing targets. So those three models that we put together are incredibly important for us to obviously make sure that we're in lockstep, that we're either at that red line or if we're actually behind you know what is it that we need to do to obviously kind of make those hard decisions and course correct when needed and so oftentimes you know i think in organizations like ours where we're you know still in this you know startup mentality we are really looking at our demand model very carefully and so that is you know not only kind of like the number of opportunities that we're building so if we're actually not building enough of the pipeline based on kind of like our headcount so we have really clear ratios of number of opportunities by sdr you know in terms of their quota we also have the same thing with our reps in terms of you know what's important for us so on a weekly basis in our go-to-market we are looking you know really really closely at some kind of key metrics in terms of rep productivity so number of ops our win rates our average selling price so our asps we're also looking at you know kind of another part of our model and that's our kind of our adoption rate so when we sell a deal you know when is the time to launch and if we're starting to see any sort of changes and usually some of those indicators are we'll look at it on a monthly basis but we also sometimes can look at it on a weekly basis and the key thing for us is that we're our, we are also starting to look at it by segments and so our segments are kind of our core selling teams and we haven't actually really started going global yet and so we are just starting that kind of that phase right now where you know we're starting to kind of push those limits in terms of like you know how to do the same repeatable motion as you expand into your and as you expand into kind of APAC, you know, what are those kind of best practices and what are the metrics that we would want or targets that we would want to put in place that would show us that it's got kind of a healthy mark and that we can be successful and we can actually start expanding and really hitting the gas there. So hopefully that helps. I know that there's a lot more metrics that we look at, but you know, those are some of the key things that we start really looking at those those early signals on, you know, when when something may need to be kind of adjusted in terms of our goals and our targets. I have a I'm surprising you with one follow-up question, oh, David, no. and I apologize. Okay. Go for it. <laughs> and I I have not prepared you for this. We're halfway through the month. We're looking at our metrics. We're gonna miss it. If nothing changes, we're gonna miss the month by, I don't know, twenty percent. And we got to hit this month. So what do you do to, if you're midstream and you need to course correct upwards and you feel like you don't have the pipeline you need to get there, what do you do? Great question, because I feel like we actually do have the pipeline to get there. We actually look at um, every week, we're actually looking at our deals that are further out and we look at deals that we think that we might want to pull in. 
And we've certainly spent a lot of time being proactive around that with our reps and also with our, our leaders that are out there. But we also don't panic. What we're also looking at is sometimes if, if there is a miss, we actually do put into place a, a program like a campaign where we actually, from our SDRs, we may go back out and talk to um, folks that we had spoken to in the past and re- try to restart those conversations. And we can actually do that pretty quickly. Our business, we're really fortunate that we can actually get on a call with a, uh, a prospect and what we call a one call close. So somebody can get on our platform right away and actually start spending so there's really low friction for somebody to come on to our platform and and be a customer so it's a simple platform in the sense that you know from a setup perspective so sam after this call you and i are going to kind of get back on the phone and we're going to talk about getting you and your team on trip actions right (laughs) awesome well i'm I'm happy to do it i'm happy to do as long as you give me my delta miles i I can't we we love delta we love your status and you'll be able to have that are you uh are you a do you have a a car a car company you've got status with no well hertz how about a hotel like hertz gold you know what not really. I guess I've been accumulating Marriott okay. Bonvoy. Well, you recently. could bring over your Bonvoy <laughs> and your SPG. You could bring it like all that kind of good stuff, right? Yeah. I love it. Yeah. I'm most mostly focused on my airline status because I just I want to get on the plane first so I can put oh, my oversized you're one of those on guys. in the overhead. <laughs> but that <laughs> I am. that is neither yes. hither nor yon, uh, as my as my English teacher would say. David, if folks want to reach out to you, remind us you have the best email yeah, address just at DZ, Actions. What is it? DZ at tripactions.com. Awesome. Uh, if folks want to reach out to me, it's linkedin.com forward slash the word in and then forward slash Sam F. Jacobs. Once again, thanks to our sponsor Outreach. They put food on the table. Check out the book that Max, Mark, and Manny wrote called Sales Engagement. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks so much for listening.